So in your packet, you have a writing prompt and it's about writing a letter. So I wanted to go over what that should look like. So let's look at the writing prompt first. It says, think about the stories, why people are birds, why people and birds are friends in Bruno's new home. And both friendship is a significant theme. Using details from both texts and your own experience with friends, plan, draft, revise, and complete a final writing, writing piece answering the following prompt. What does it mean to be a good friend? Write a letter to your teacher expressing your opinions about qualities that build strong friendships. In your letter, be sure to include specific details and examples that demonstrate what it means to be a good friend. So some things we need to think about. Who is your audience? You're gonna think about who are you writing to? Well, if we go back to our prompt, we can see it says right here, we're writing a letter to your teacher. Okay. Next, we need to think about what is our format. I'm going to show you what the format should look like. You need an introduction that's a couple sentences long introducing what you're going to be talking about. Then you're going to need to need, have a paragraph about Bruno's new home. It tells you that in your prompt that you need to include details from that text. You need one paragraph about why people and birds are friends. So two separate paragraphs discussing how those Care, um, those two texts show character traits. Then you're going to have a conclusion. So in total, you should have about four paragraphs. So I put an example on here. So in the top right hand corner, you need to have your date. You need to have dear whoever. So dear whoever your teacher is right here. So if your teacher is Mrs. Smith, you would say dear Mrs. Smith. And then you have a comma. Skip a line. Notice how I have indented here. And this is my introduction. Remember, we always want to start it with a catchy phrase, something that's going to bring our reader in. So it says, how are you doing today? I have missed seeing you. While at home, I have missed my friends also. It has made me think about what character traits I like in my friends. I wanted to tell you what some of those traits are. So that's my introduction. I'm just introducing to my reader that I am gonna be talking about character traits. My second paragraph, notice how I know it's my second paragraph because I have indented again. There are so many different, different traits I look for in a friend. I have an introduction sentence. Then I go into, while reading Bruno's new home, so I have my first paragraph, my first body paragraph is all gonna be about character traits that I like, but also connecting it to Bruno's new home, okay, and how some of those character traits were in that story. And then my third paragraph would start, I would indent again, and I would talk about more character traits, but character traits that related to the other story that you guys had to read. And then you would have your conclusion, which remember just has to be a couple sentences that wraps it up. And then at the end, it's important for a letter that you write who it's from. So you can say sincerely, you can say, I miss you or see you soon, but some type of word or phrase that wraps up your letter and then a comma and then a, underneath sincerely, right on this blank line is where you would write your name, okay? So you could practice if you wanted to typing this on a Google Doc. You can even share that with your teachers. That would be a cool thing to do. Um, or you could write it on a piece of paper, but make sure when you're doing this, you're keeping with this formatting. All right.